A little bit of rotation work with hustling down into the corner to pick up puck. Jeff Nall will puck. Jeff Courtnall will swing out and cut in towards the net. That's where Mark Hardy has him tied up, and I think Hardy's got a bit of a gripe. Basically, puts his stick on Courtnall's stick. Didn't see much of the stick on Courtnall's body. Upended. Courtnall pretending like he had been hooked off. Bill McCurry buys the fake, and the Capitals get their first power play opportunity. Fooled me. Hardy called for cross-checking with a hit coming on pretty well stick-to-stick -stick contact. Capitals power play, fifth in the league, 24%. And the North Stars, 11th in penalty killing at 78%. Hardy in the box for cross-checking at the eight-minute mark of the first period. Washington also very successful in goal scoring against Minnesota last year. Scoring seven times in 17 chances, 41% with the extra man advantage over the three games. Murphy plays it safe, and wisely so, as Gagne, the man with a hot stick, just throws it all the way down the ice. Here comes Scott Stevens to start back. He works to center, throws it across the line, and now Ridley against the sideboard goes rink-wide. Murphy's able to keep it in. The puck cleared out to center. Scott Stevens. own zone. 11 minutes to play here in the first period. One minute remaining in the penalty. Kortnall hustling to the net. And a backhand shot is sticked up off the glass. Back to the point. Scott Stevens. Over now to Dave Christian. The puck sent up the sideboards. Murphy has it. Brings it over to Kortnall. Jeff Kortnall to puck shot. right between the pads of Kerry Taco and the Capitals lead one to nothing on the power play. I don't know how much the stick of Ben Gustafson distracted Taco, but T should have stopped this. Nonetheless, it is a bullet from Jeff Kortdahl, and he likes to shoot it from this position. Right on net. Now you see a little bit of a screen that Kortnall uses, and look at the stick of Ben Gustafson. But right there, I thought Kerry Taco had the crack at it. Right dead on the pads. A little bit of an opening between it. Maybe he just didn't pick it up until it was too late or distracted a bit by that stick of Ben Gustafson. But the Capitals strike on the power play with Courtnell getting the goal. And it's so important for this Washington team to play with a lead. Time of the goal, 9-26. Courtnell on the power play. His ninth goal overall in the season. Larry Murphy gets the assist. Here's a breakaway. Francis Getty, a shot. And Taco makes a glove save. Back to the point for Langway. He's checked against the sideboards. Leach with the puck. Throws it rink wide for Hatcher. A slap shot. Kick save made by Taco. Francis Getty all tied up in front of the net. A penalty call is coming. It's going to be holding at 9.51 of the first period. Holding is called against Dino Cicerelli. He had become locked up with Francis Getty in front of the North Star goal. Well, once Freddy Francis Getty got in there on that breakaway, he never left that crease area and forced Cicerelli into the penalty. Well, if you're a little bit undecided what kind of Christmas gift or holiday gift you want to give a friend who is a Capitals fan, we've got the perfect idea for you. The Capitals put together a video out in Calgary when they're on that West Coast swing. Two songs they put to music videos. Let's show you a little sample of the work of the Capitals. What are we gonna do? Double trouble, that's what we got. Capitals red, white, and blue. The Capitals red, white, and blue. See Rod Langway doing his George Michael impersonation yeah. there, but you can pick up Double Trouble and Out on Top, the two songs the Capitals did on, that, on those music videos, along with the highlight film from last year. Just send 2195 along with 250 posters handling the address. We'll show you that address a little later on as well. Great Christmas gift idea for any Capitals fan. I saw that video today. I had my own private premiere showing, and I'm telling you, it would make a great Christmas gift. It would last two Christmases. That's how good this video is. It's an excellent job. I was very impressed by the, the singing talents of these Capitals players. Some boy, friends, oh boy. Some friends of Neil Sheehy put, the, uh, put that thing together out there when they were in Calgary. This is straight from MTV. I want to know, when we never see Rod Langway shave normally, yes. why does he shave <laughs> when he can look like George Michael on a music video? So 
some very impressive performances, and you're going to love it, believe me. At the point, Grant Ledyard feeds it over to Kevin Hatcher. A slap shot goes wide. The Washington power play continues. Here's Ledyard out at center. Now to Mike Gartner. Gartner gets across the blue line. Missed the last two games because of a strained knee. Back to the point. Gets to Murphy, to Gartner, to Hunter in front of backhand shot. Sticked away by Taco. The Stars come back. Neil Broughton across the blue line. Slam from the brakes and loses his balance. Here comes Christian. Jammed up against the sideboards by Bellows. Scott Stevens gets to the blue line and Bellows takes it away. Bellows throws it into the Washington zone. Here's Larry Murphy behind the net. Over to Scott Stevens. Right side pass for Kortnoff. He's hit by Bellows. The puck to the blue line. Gustafson to Christian. Reaches behind and tries to feed it off to Kortnoff, but it's cleared out to center ice. Time running out on the Washington power play. Capitals scored on the last attempt. And the fans thought there should have been a penalty there as Kortnoff went flying once more. Up across the line comes Cicerelli. Penalty's over. He's hit hard by Scott Stevens. And now Kortnoff throws it out to center. Both clubs at full strength, 7.55 to go here in the first period. The Capitals lead 1-0. Dino Cicerelli, a rink-wide pass. He gets it back. Tries to give down a Pacheck. It's taken away by Messier. He throws it in front of the net, and Scott Stevens turns it around to Bob Gould. Gould to center ice. Drives it back inside the Minnesota zone. Gould picks it up on the right wing. Goes to the corner. He's bumped by Bob Routes. The puck... Stopped by Taco at the side of the net. The North Star goalkeeper went way wide to make the save. Now Pashak out to center ice, and Sheehy taps it again to the North Star zone. Mark Hardy, the former Los Angeles King defenseman, brings it out to center, throws it ahead now for Pashak on the right wing. He centers. Oh, the large shot. An outstanding save as he was able to slide across the goal mouth to rob Kurt Fraser. For the Capitals, Lou Franceschetti charging to the net. He's tied up on the play, and the Stars come back. Here's Frantisek Musil. Leads it ahead. Fraser bumped at the line. Langway goes after it. He can't clear. Now sends it up the boards, and Franceschetti throws a hard hit. Back to the point. Chambers a hard shot. That's high off the glass. Here's Lou Franceschetti. Bumped again by Sean Chambers. Sheehy breaks up the North Star play at the Washington line, throws it into Minnesota ice. Larry De Palma brings it to the blue line. Corvo reaching for the puck, can't get it. Back comes De Palma, walks in, fires, Malarchuk the save, and McCray kept out of there by Kevin Hatcher on the Washington defense. There's a break in the action with the score. The Capitals won, and the North Stars nothing. Nothing lead thanks to a spectacular sprawling save by Clint Malarchuk. Kurt Frazier set up all alone in front. Watch the reaction of Clint Malarchuk sliding over, getting those pads in front of the shot and protecting the 1-0 lead. Malarchuk reaches to his left and throws the puck off the glass. It goes into the first row of seats for a souvenir. Malarchuk. Had a victory and a tie against the North Stars last year, playing two of the three games. He beat Kerry Taco in one of the performances, and in the other one was victorious over Don Boatwright, who is now in the Capitals organization. During those two games, Malarchuk posted one shutout, and all told a 1.44 goals against average. Lifetime against Minnesota, Clint, four wins, no losses, two ties and a 2.89 goals against Mark in six games played. Pretty impressive numbers. Some of them compiled while as a member of the Quebec Nordiques. Here's Drew starting out to center ice. He gets across the Minnesota line. Mark Hardy has his helmet knocked off and now takes a run at Courtenau. Those two are going to fight. And they drop the gloves and square off. Hardy... Reaching in, starts to throw body punches at Cortinall, but Cortinall now has a few of his own to answer with. And Hardy without a helmet. Cortinall 
Hall trying to reach up high for him. And pretty well a wrestling match now, and Courtenall starting to work on the sweater of Hardy, who does not appear to be tied down. And oh, Hardy connecting with a shot there to Courtenall, who appears to be a bit dazed, now just hanging on. And the linesman ready to move in here. And it looks like Hardy has sustained a bit of a cut, too, across his forehead. You see a little blood on Courtenall's neck. I think that is from Hardy. I think that may have gotten Mark Hardy upset initially when he got the helmet ripped off. And I think Jeff Courtenall was going to get the lone penalty before Hardy dropped the gloves and went at him. We'll see if there's an instigator call in any of this. There's a break in the action with the Capitals leading the North Stars one to nothing. Jeff Courtenall, five minutes for fighting. Well, I guess I was wrong. I thought it was Courtenall who was going to get that initial penalty. Yeah. But it was going to be Hardy for interference. So the Capitals will have a power play. Fighting majors to both of them, but the additional call is going to be to Jeff to Mark Hardy for interference. I thought when Courtenall grabbed him and ripped the helmet off, that's when I saw Bill McCurry's arm went off. And here's how it all starts. I guess right there you see that Hardy makes sure that Courtenall doesn't have a chance to get that loose puck. And in response to the hit, that's when Courtenall gets the helmet off. So it will be the interference call to Hardy and another capital power play. Well, Hardy isn't cut there, so the cut definitely happened during the fight. I was wondering if maybe Hardy had been cut when the helmet came off. That doesn't appear to be the case. As close in as they're working, the cut might have even come from the helmet of yeah, Courtenall. I think when they start buttoning around like that. Warren Babe will serve the uh, minor for Mark Hardy. Washington back on the power play again. They've scored once already on Courtenall's ninth goal of the year from Larry Murphy, who scored at 9.26 to give Washington the one nothing lead. Here's the new coach of the North Stars, Pierre Paget, who was an assistant in Calgary. Spent a long time as an assistant coach in the training ground. And I think he's done a, a, job. a smart thing. He has left no doubt in his player's mind who is in charge. Has been, some, has been some of his stars in the early going. Here's Scott Stevens. Tries to center, but Taco reaches for it. It's loose now, and the puck goes to the sideboard. Mike Ridley. Backhands it to the point. Murphy over to Stevens. Fakes the shot, lets it fly, and it's right on goal as it was tipped by Gagne, and Taco handles easily to stop play. So this is the third power play of the night for Washington. There's Doug Jarvis, one of the two Minnesota assistant coaches. The other is George Kingston. And you know, if this Minnesota power play improves, it's going to be directly because of the input from Doug Jarvis, who was such a master in, in penalty killing. I should say the penalty killing unit. Just a terrific defensive-oriented player, and now has got a chance to prove his coaching abilities in the North Star organization. I'm sure Doug would take a little credit that came about on the power play, too. A good yeah. penalty killer knows about how a good power play operates, and Jarvis certainly saw a few of those during the years with the Montreal Canadiens and the Washington Capitals. Finished out his playing career with the Hartford Whalers. Certainly a man of class, Doug Jarvis. Very quiet man, but a very disciplined player, and I think he'll bring that to the profession as well. Here comes Chambers to the blue line, and now Ridley breaks it up. He starts back for the Capitals. And Scott Stevens cuts across the line. The play is called offside. And Stevens upset that he was tripped at the blue line by Sean Chambers. 56 seconds to go now in the penalty to Mark Hardy. Scott with both of his goals on the season coming on the power play. Two goals, nine assists, and 11 points. And has 37 minutes in penalties so far. Always ranks high in the assist column. And right now, Washington's leading defenseman in the scoring category, point-wise. Here's Hatcher. Flips it back inside Minnesota ice. Gray back to the point. Hatcher keeps it in. 
Sends the pass over into the corner for Gustafson. Taco works it back to the corner boards again. It's sent to the point. Ledyard keeps it in play. Now here's Hatcher. A slap shot and a save by Taco. Again yields a bit of a small rebound, but dives out in front this time to smother it. Well, in this power play, the Capitals have been unloading some shots, but most of them have been from the point out there on the perimeter. Not a lot close in front of Kerry Taco, and the North Stars and Taco doing a pretty good job then of not letting Capital players get to those rebounds quickly. Taco there does the job by diving out once he lets that little rebound loose. Will force the face off to his right. Taco's numbers from last season. He played at Hartford Saturday and took the loss in that game three to one. 20 seconds to go in the penalty call. For Mark Hardy, the extra penalty for interference, along with the fighting major that he and Courtnall picked up, giving Washington the power play. Warren Babe will be the man to come out of the penalty box wearing number 29. That penalty about to expire. The Capitals keep the pressure on. Larry. Or rather, Ben Gustafson back to the point. Kevin Hatcher a shot. Babes out of the box, and the penalty is over. And the puck is cleared all the way back to the Washington line. Here's Hatcher to Gustafson. And now to Grant Ledyard. Ledyard to the Minnesota line. Skates right past Chambers and fires a sizzling shot, but it goes wide of the net. Ledyard back to center ice to chase it. Throws it rink wide. Hatcher picks it up. Flips it in. Now Bob Gould bumped hard against the backboards by Rouse. Franceschetti a quick drive, and Taco makes the save. A rebound, and Lou Franceschetti steers it wide of the net. Now here's Leach trying to center in front, but a penalty call is coming. Gould is held by Rouse. Bob Rouse will again go to the penalty box, supporting Washington, their fourth power play of this first period. Time of the penalty, 16.57. The Capitals certainly are outplaying the Nars Stars. Minnesota trying to be responsible, trying to pick up men, but they're being forced into penalties because of the outstanding hustle of the Capitals, and particularly this line with Leach, Francis Getty, and Gould. These guys out there doing a sensational job of forechecking, and once they get in there, they are so strong and continue to keep their feet moving that you're always going to be forced to really grab onto them. You have to try and finesse your way through it. Get away with it a little bit, but the North Stars have been overreacting and have been picking up the penalties. The Capitals with those five, nearly five and a half minutes of power play time. Not a good amount of time in that offensive zone. Five shots, they picked up a couple shots on that last power play. Of course, the court all goal, the difference in the contest. Correct time of the penalty call, 16.53. It's Rouse for holding. Washington has the lead 1-0 on Jeff Courtnall's goal, which came on the power play. North Stars have had but one opportunity with the extra man advantage. Pierre Paget a bit unsettled here in his choice of players. Now calls Musil back to the bench. He ends up going with Gavin out there along with Gagne. Mo Manta along with Hartsburg. And Hartsburg clears it all the way down the ice. Hartsburg now heads to the bench, and Musil comes back on. Here's Larry Murphy. Rushes to center ice. Slaps it into the corner. Spun off the sideboards to the point, and Scott Stevens. Stevens dumps it in for Ridley. Ridley tries to center. It's blocked to the corner, and now Scott Stevens goes after it. Back to Larry Murphy. A minute and a half to go on the penalty. Slap shot by Ridley would have gone wide. Taco reaches out to his left and makes the grab. Harry Taco in his third year with the North Stars, 25 years old, and part of a goaltending alignment that had four contenders in training camp this year, of which Don Beaupre turned out to be the odd man, was sent to Kalamazoo, and Beaupre winds up with Washington. John Casey has seen the bulk of the work so far this year for Minnesota. This is Taco's fourth appearance of the season. From the draw, back to Larry Murphy. Now over to Hunter. Dale Hunter to Ridley in the corner. 
Ridley brings it back to Hunter. Off the side of the net. Hunter tries to throw to the point man. It hits the skates of McCreary, the referee. And now the puck is cleared on the right wing for Bellows. Brian Bellows to center ice. Rotten throws it in. Scott Stevens back to pick it up. Dumps it back inside the Minnesota zone. 50 seconds to go on the Washington power play. 150 to play here in the first period. Capitals lead 1-0. Stevens, a careless pass to center right. Hartsburg, a blast and a save. Rebound is shot high and wide as Gagne was the man in front trying to score on the rebound. But back comes Kelly Miller for Washington. Gets across the blue line. Miller into the corner. Deeks his way along the sideboards and finally gets it to Gustafson. He centers and Christian with a shot that goes wide. Now Stuart Gavin clearing out to center ice and puts it back inside the Washington zone. 12 seconds left on the Capitals power play. Time for one more rush. And here comes Hatcher to center ice. Hatcher across the blue line. Musel plays it up the boards to Bellows. Bellows spun around by Miller. Gustafson has the puck. Rouse is out of the box. The North Stars are at full strength. Centering pass. Christian a shot. And a save. Now the puck cleared off the sideboards and all the way down the ice. And Taco was right where he needed to be in front. And on the second chance, got some help from the defense. Penalty calls over. 50 seconds remaining now in the first period. And the Capitals knocked very hard on the door that time. Really pressing Kerry Taco. Watch the move, Ben Cust. Well, we see the tail end of it. He made a little move with a man on him to shake himself free. Tried to center it in front for David Christian. You've got Bellows coming back to help out, and then Musil gets back into the picture. It's a good example of what Pierre Paget has been asking his forwards to do more, get back there and help the defenseman. And that time, Brian Bellows may have saved the day to prevent the North Stars from falling behind by two. We're in the final minute of play in the first period. Draw comes back to the point. Langway keeps it in. And now Taco steers it up the boards, and Cicerelli gets a stick on it. Leaps with a hard shot. Then Bellows cross-checks him from behind, knocking him down. Ruled to the corner. Tries to center. A quick drive toward the net by Leach is blocked. Turned around in front for Sheehy. He gets a stick on it. And with 25 seconds to go in the period, the North Stars come back. Bellows across the line. Cicerella reaches for it after Francis Getty is all set to pick it up, then appeared to overskate the puck. Sheehy dumps it back inside the Minnesota zone. Marco puts it behind the net. And out comes Dave Archibald as time runs out in the period. The Capitals double the output of the North Stars in the shot department. 14 Washington shots during the first period and seven for the Minnesota North Stars. And the Capitals lead 1-0 on the power play goal by Jeff Courtnall. If you like NHL hockey, you've found the right place to watch it. Home team sports all season long on the NHL. Those four chances. 